makes sense. It takes you two seconds to save half the money on that product. Yeah. Hmm. So right away, if you mass link, if you don't mass link, you could lose half of your stuff, half of your commissions for your hard work. That's no good. So you must mask. Okay, they call this masking or cloaking. So I'm going to use these two terms interchangeably, masking or cloaking, which means that instead of putting my affiliate ID right in a link, which would take you two seconds to change and take my commission from me and get it at the product at half price, you're going to mask or cloak your link. Okay, in this case, 54% of your commissions could have been lost, but it's as high as 78. Not only, though, not only, though, will you save your commissions if you cloak a link or mask a link, but if the link says something like, checkthisout.com slash PPC. Is that going to get a higher click-through rate? Because it's a prettier link, it's easier to remember, it looks nicer. Is that going to get a higher click-through rate than say something like, you know, myaffiliateid.hoplink.net.com slash clickbank, yada, yada, yada. I mean, it makes sense any way you look at it. <laughs> so you'll get more click-throughs, you'll, you'll protect your hard-earned commissions, and most importantly, it covers your butt from a huge affiliate blunder. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask real quickly if anybody has a guess on what this huge affiliate blunder is. Besides getting robbed in commissions, besides uh, losing click-throughs, what is the real huge affiliate blunder? The real huge affiliate blunder is this. Now, in ClickBank it might not happen, but some of these smaller affiliate programs we use, what happens if the affiliate program you're using, especially private ones, changes their link structure? And so your old links no longer work. Or worse yet, what if they go out of business? And you might say, well, hold the phone, Jason. Big, big stuff that I promote ain't going to go out of business anytime soon. It ain't going to change its policies overnight anytime soon. Um, uh, let me think here for a second. Uh, Amazon? Anybody ever heard of Amazon? I don't know. They were the first person. They were the first company on the Internet to start an affiliate program. Longest running affiliate program on the Internet. Biggest affiliate program on the Internet, right? They did it. Okay. Who here is in a state that can no longer promote Amazon? Anybody? And if so, say your state. Because there's at least three states that I know of. North Carolina from Augie. Colorado from John. Uh, <laughs> And there's another one, too. Maybe they're not on the call. But think about this. If you ran out there and you had no control over your links because you were just pasting them you know, here, too, and there, and then Amazon or a company like that changes it overnight, what do you do? What do you got to do? 